Howdy howdy, this is Crafty Grindy back again with an arena cutoff video for Marvel Contest of Champions. Today I cover round 1 results for the Thing and Storm arenas, then jump into some round 2 predictions. So first, the round 1 results. So uh, the 5 star feature Thing um, arena came in at around just over 60 million. This is kind of what was expected, one of those higher end um, 5 star feature arena cutoffs and uh, the community did not disappoint there's a lot of hype around uh, the Fantastic Four entering the uh, the game over the uh, the coming year and a half it sounds like definitely over the next year for sure um, and thing being the first of the Fantastic Four added to the game there's a lot of hype plus he looks to be a decent offensive and defensive champ um, there's some uh, nuance in how you play him, but I think definitely one of the, the newer champs that people are interested in. But what was interesting, jumping over to the four-star feature, that score of 11.2 million was a, a low cutoff for a high-interest champ based off of his five-star feature score. That 11.2, based off of other high-interest, you know, 60 million plus five-star feature, usually goes, the four-star feature cutoff usually goes closer to 13, maybe even 14 million. So to see 11.2 is kind of at a discount. So if you were, hopefully, if you wanted to get that four-star uh, feature thing you went after him this time and you were uh, you were able to get him and then uh, when it comes to storm kind of as expected her arena was that low interest four star basic she's been in the game for a while even though a decent champ um, so uh, that that lower cutoff was expected so kind of as you would imagine comparing to my actual predictions um, the both five star feature and the uh, four star basic were within 10 percent so those are um, good predictions whereas that I was expecting closer to 14 million and that was just over that 10 percent but closer to 15 percent um within the cutoff so not too bad but definitely not the best and then obviously like i was saying that uh, four star base again right where we thought it would now when we're thinking about round two predictions uh first starting with the five star feature you can see when there's uh you know based off of some recent champs Aegon and dark hawk kind of being more on the high interest side you can see that round one and round two for Aegon went higher where dark hawk went a little bit lower um, but in the case of Night Thrash, because he had a low four star or a low first round cutoff anyway, um, he he did jump uh, quite a bit in the second round. So kind of a mixed bag of results, not necessarily a trend, I would say. If anything, if I was going to compare, um, you know, comparing thing in terms of interest level, I think it's closer to Aegon versus Dark. I would say interest as well as um, how good they are in the game. I think it's closer to Aegon than Darkhawk. Um, so I kind of expect that second round jump, but not a significant one. Then when the, the four star feature, you can see um, with Aegon, it was pretty much flat. But with Night Thrasher, it went kind of very similar. Night Thrasher and Dark Oak, the grass zone was very similar between four, the, the five star feature and the four star feature. And again, I think there will be a slight increase, but not um, nothing significant there. Four star basic, um, you can see um, with low interest champs, recent low interest champs that have some utility still in the game. Winter Soldier with synergies, Cable, Yellow Jacket. You know, the, all of these champs are definitely older champs in the game, but have, you know, there's different scenarios in the game where they still have some value. And you can see in every case the uh, the, the round two results were um, cutoffs were a little bit higher, but nothing significant there. So considering all of these trends here, well, actually the last one, the three-star feature, um, which is always the case, uh, the second round is always lower than the first. So considering all of these past results, here are my thoughts for round two uh, cutoffs for the veterans bracket, meaning your account's been op open for over 61 days. I think we're going to see a, a five-star cutoff around 63 million for the fourth thing. I think we're going to see 12.5 million for the four-star feature thing. I think we'll see 1.7 million for Storm again, somewhere right around there. And then I think we'll see 1.2 to 1.3 million for the three-star thing. So these are my predictions. I always like to give a little bit of buffer just in case the round two results come in a little bit higher than expected. So I think if you really want to get uh, the five-star feature thing, go to 65 million. If you want the four-star feature thing, 14 million should work and 1.8 million should work for four-star basic storm and lastly 1.3 to 1.35 should work for the three-star feature thing now these uh grind targets as well as predictions are for the veterans bracket when it comes to the lower brackets beginner and intermediate as usual there's just not a ton of uh historical results available to for me to do any kind of statistically significant uh trend analysis so always uh the, these numbers are just based off of the latest anecdotal information i get from the community and i appreciate all those folks who uh, drop by my videos who are in these lower uh, brackets and provide their cutoffs. So based off of some of those recent numbers that I've received, I think we're looking at the three-star feature right around 245 in the beginner's bracket, meaning your account's brand new within 30 days. Four-star basic, I think we're looking at 800,000. For the four-star feature thing, I think we're looking at 1.1 million. 
Now jumping to the intermediate bracket, meaning your account's been open 31 to 60 days. Three star feature, I think we're looking at 525,000. Four star basic, we're looking at 900,000. And for the four star feature thing, I think we're looking at 1.5 million. So these are my thoughts for round two of the thing and uh, Storm Arenas. Um, we'd love to hear your thoughts, especially if you have any questions. Throw it on down in the uh, comment section and we'll discuss them there. Other than that, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you find it interesting and help your grinding for round two of the thing in the storm. If, if so, I'd really appreciate it if you click that thumbs up button. And if you like this and other uh, videos I have on the channel, we'd really appreciate it. Subscribe. Thanks a lot for stopping by and have a great day.